morning to find a rainy day and I'm actually looking forward to having a day inside. I've been doing so much outside work and it's nice to be able to relax indoors for just a little bit. So what am I working on today you may ask? Well come follow me and I'll show you. It's going to be an all day job. In the summertime I do a lot of cooking but in the summertime I tend not to do that much cooking and I rely on my food pantry simply because they're homemade meals that have already been made. So what I'm working on today is I have my rice cooker. So what I'm working on today is I have my rice cooker going and we're going to have something very simple from the pantry. And we're going to have chili. It's such a cold and damp day for being in June. But this is a great day for me to get some things done in the house. Simple meal and I can't wait to share with you why I'm making such a simple meal today and I think you're going to understand. So let me show you what I'm working on this morning. Thankful for the rain. It gives me a chance to work in my pantry. It's been quite a while since you've seen a video of me in this pantry. And today is a big day. I have a lot of work I need to do in here. One thing that's really important when you have a pantry, a food storage, is to keep your area clean. So you want to make sure you dust off spider webs. You want to make sure you dust off your walls. Dust everything and really clean it. Give it a thorough cleaning because this is your food storage, your storehouse. And I'm sitting here comfortably, but what you don't realize is all on the floor is stuff. I canned and I need to put away. Also, it's really important to mark your supplies. Mark what you're canning. And it would make things so much easier for you to know your date, to know what you have in your jars. But I have all kinds of oatmeal. So I have all this oatmeal ahead and put it in mylar bags, which will also help make more room in here because one of these takes a lot more room than a mylar bag because I can lay it flat. I really worked in here about three months ago but this is my catch-all room. You know, we all have one of those rooms where it seems like everything gets thrown in the room. Some people have it as their dining room table. Everything seems to go there. Mine is my food pantry. Starting in the next couple weeks, I'm going to be making a small root cellar. Now this is going to be a real easy DIY idea that all of you can do. It doesn't require any building. It requires some arm muscle and a dirt shovel. I can't wait to share with you. I seen this idea on a video and I thought this is exactly what I would like to try. I'm going to try it on a small scale and if it works as good as I think it will, I will also make a bigger one. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. My little homestead is actually bursting in the seams with all kinds of projects from the greenhouse to the canning garage to my laundry, outdoor laundry area. It is so amazing and I'm finding it these days that people that drive by my house will actually almost stop to take a look at everything. I'm starting to get noticed in the neighborhood and I think that's really great and I hope that maybe some other people in my neighborhood will pick up on my ideas and maybe we could start a little bit of a community effort to lower our carbon on this world and to just lower our waste that we have. All the chicken bedding and making that into a compost area in my chicken run and it is the most amazing compost that you would ever ever want to find. We put leaves in there and the chickens composted all winter long and this spring and this summer my garden is flourishing because of it. I'm learning all of these skills. I'm learning to lower my trash impact on this world. Learning to go with less plastics and more glass. All of these things is something you can do no matter where you live. You don't have to have a uh, little homestead. You can do it wherever you are. So let me show you what I'm working on. See behind me I have new jars. I have my strawberry pie filling. I also have all of my chicken broth that I done. Everything is so full in here. But with a little bit of management and just a little bit of organization skills, you'll be surprised what you can fit in a little room like this. So we're going to pan the whole way around 
to where you see a whole bunch of my buckets. Now these buckets were given to me free. They came from a friend, which she got them free from a bakery. So this was a closet and I took the doors out and I made it into shelving space. We're going to pan the camera around a little more. You can see more buckets. All of my buckets are labeled. My granddaughter labeled all of my buckets. And then we have a whole bunch of different china closets. These china closets were given to me. This one by my son and one by a neighbor. And then we have an old entertainment center that was given to me free by a neighbor who was going to burn it. Recycle everyone. Recycle all of these things. You can find these everywhere for free uh, sitting along the road. So I just took out the shelves. I just took out the door and took out some parts of it. And that is another place where I can store my things. Another shelf I found for free along the road. This has a lot of tinctures and things like that. As you see, there's buckets. So every little awkward corner that you have that doesn't fit anything else, you can put buckets. So this is my rice. My rice is all has buckets now. And then we have another china closet. I got a cart from a subscriber, oh, maybe a year and a half ago. This cart I want to always keep clean and free of items. So as the weeks go by, I will put things on this cart. And then I need to go ahead and organize it. So I like to keep this cart free because that's just my catch-all place where I can put things. Like here. I just dehydrated some mushrooms. Well, we got to put these mushrooms away. Having a cart like that really helps me because when I'm really in a hurry, I just put it on the cart and like all of my molasses that we did, I have to put this stuff away then. As you can see, I have my work cut out for me because all this week I was busy doing canning and I was canning lots of orange marmalade which if you haven't seen the video yet you will lots more of the barbecue sauce and things like that I'm really blessed by having my discount grocery store and I go once a week and I usually spend maybe twenty dollars but it helps me with my food pantry and you never know when you're not gonna have such a resource like that and so I really try to take up on these things that come on sale. And so I also have a video coming out of canning my coconut oil. Basically it's not canning, it is the sun heated my coconut oil and I sealed it in jars. But these things aren't labeled, these things aren't put away where they need to be. So the first thing I do in organizing this room like this, I will go through all of my shelves that I already have food on it and I will just organize it a little better to give more room. Then I will go and back and see where I can fit all of my things. I pretty much know what I have. I'm a little bit sketchy on some of the dates. People say you should always have the old push front and that of course is true. You have to treat it like it's a grocery store. But when you have the kind of food that I have and you have the kind of canning that I do on a weekly basis, it can get really hard to keep all of that. All of my food is not at one certain space. It's just impossible to do that. So I may have some green beans here, some green beans here, some green beans over here. Because in the course of canning my green beans, there may be four or five months in between and I have so much other stuff. But organization is the key and once a year, like you've seen in my videos last year, I actually took everything out of this room and reorganized it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy seeing my pantry once again. And I hope you enjoy gleaning something from me. A lot of people said they never realized that you can recan food. You can. You just got to know what foods you can recan and what you can't. And I hope by watching my videos, you learn a lot by that. So, I better get started and I'll show you what everything looks afterwards. Such a simple meal on a busy, busy day. So 
some of my rice that I got for free. And some of my home canned chili. The thing nice about having a full pantry is when you're busy and your husband gets home from work and he's really hungry and you don't have time to slave over the kitchen stove, you can open up a can of your home fresh chili that you made over the winter or chicken soup or vegetable soup, all kinds of soups. I do a lot of canning over the winter time of the soups and then I do a lot of canning of my vegetables in the summer and it's really good. All right everybody, it's finished. Whew, that was a lot of work and so I decided to use this video for my cheat meal Monday simply because it was so much work and I wanted to share with you when you have a full day of work and you don't know what to make on a cold and damp day I'm going to share with you a cheap meal out of my pantry. So many times people ask me about cheap meals from the pantry and a lot of times I don't know what to make a video on because simply you open up a jar of your food and you heat it up and you eat it. So that's the benefits of canning. A lot of people say, well, canning is a lot of work. It is a lot of work at the time when you're doing it, but my, my, oh my, the time saved on days when you're just working so hard. So everything is done. I have two totes here on the ground, which I want to eventually get one big tote and put it in there and then be able to have a lid for it. But... As you can see, the floor is clean now. There's nothing laying on the floor anymore. And I bagged up my oatmeal in Mylar bags. I do have the top shelf of this cart empty. And that's good. So we're going to let it at that for now. Because this was many hours of work. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow.